Hello, today we are looking at the exciting and the fresh Manjaro 17.0. It is built on Arch as usual, and as you can see, these colors, this wallpaper is just beautiful. The left side represents for me KDE Plasma, and the right side represents for me Manjaro, and this is exactly what you can expect of Manjaro 17.0 KDE and when we start up with this familiar but great Manjaro hello 0.411 and you can see all the information and you can switch languages like a geek Now it's Russian, then it was Dutch, then it was English, then you can go crazy and you can read more information about Manjaro. It's all links and information inside this forum. You can go donate to this great project. As you can see, it's links it's inside this app. I prefer when everything's together. But hey, it's awesome. And as you can see, Firefox is a default browser and Manjaro 17.0 is boosting with 51, Firefox 51. The stable release was released on the 7th of March 2017 and today is 7th of March 2017. So this is the latest, on the latest release day, and it's so cool. You can also go to the social pages, Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. And yeah, let's go to the menu bar at the top. So desktop, as you can see, you can do it either year or year. It's just when you have many apps and windows open, as we all know. And then you can go like a little maniac and just close the all with one button and click on the button again and they all just suddenly appear back. You can add widgets. I always like to add like the CPU load monitor that while I'm running this preview of Manjaro 7.0, you can keep your eyes or you move to this side and I also like to add my memory status this as it clearly likes it to be on that side let's leave it also on this side and I actually want to pull them both to this side if at all possible I'm running this test, vi test release in VirtualBox with 2 gigabytes of RAM 1 CPU of i5 PC just to give you a feeling on what you are seeing here. And activities is quite really cool of KDE. Like, let's say you, you use a computer, your system for work, for home, for everywhere, but you have all different layouts which you are using. This you can make default different layouts and you can just click on it and like a pro you switch to each one of them. And then people will be like, wow! And you say, say what? This is all Super Manjaro Linux and it's all open source and it's so much cooler than your system. You can also lock the widgets and unlock them. You can configure the desktop, choose a different wallpaper if you want. I think this is very cool, this wallpaper. But if you say, I want to be different, I, because it's autumn in the northern hemisphere, let's have, no, in the southern hemisphere, sorry. I get messed up as I'm South African living in Russia, so my spring and autumn is always messed into pieces. So, but isn't this good? Oh my goodness. 
and then lock screen is still the default one so we just change the wallpaper of the desktop nothing bad with that leave quite cool stuff and if we right click on our desktop we can run a command let's say we want to open up a writer of liberal office by default this the still stable release is installed with 5.2 but you can through the software center just install the fresh version which is the latest the greatest 5.3 oh my goodness and you can just enable the ribbon you can make it a black if your computer is black theme you can Library Office will also be a black theme then you just can change to Library Office Brief Dark Like a Pro when you have the dark theme you will have your Brief Dark there also then you can just click it and it will look awesome Like a Pro absolutely awesome when you want to install Fresh instead of still, sorry, your software center will ask you like, are you sure, show your error, you already got still installed and you can just remove still, it's all automated and just install the fresh latest version, so cool. It's another way to get into the widgets, add panels if you want a different panel, you can do that, I'm satisfied with one panel. So I will just remove this other panel and you can activities the same as you're looking for you can have like home, school, disco if you are DJ, lock widgets, lock screen, leave, everything is the same it's just another way of reaching the cool stuff of Manjago 17.0 it's very similar of course to KDE but Manjago just makes it look beautiful more settings if you want to change your panel settings if you want to add spaces you also make it small bigger smaller or just remove it you can add which is against exactly the same thing you can make a panel bigger what is cool about that is it adapts all the icons that it always looks awesome Screen edge you can move it to the top, the panel to the left, to the right, to the bottom. Let's keep it at the bottom as it will look like when you are installing Manjaro 17.0 for the first time. Date, all the hidden with options, clipboard. If you have the USB connected, KD connected, if you have phone connected, printer. Like, with phone connected, I mean, you can like, oh, you can like a giant machine, like a crazy person, connect your phone to the same Android phone, to Apple phone, or thing to your system that you can Control it from there also, how cool is it, battery and no updates, no updates at the moment, no notifications, volume It's cool about the applications part is all the applications which are playing sound like at the moment there's nothing you can manage them from here Internet, if you have Wi-Fi, it'll be here, as I'm running it in Wordbox, as I told you There's no Wi-Fi, you can enable airplane mode This is one of the awesomest things, this kernel thing, is an app built in that you can install the latest kernel available on your system and a boost Linux like a Guru. As you can see, we are running 4.9.30 slash 1 as a default. That's fine with me. Yes, a trace, but you can also go to the file system. Let's do it at the same time. Use your file system. Let's create. I just quickly want to create a folder here. 
just for later on. And you can see whether it's not safe, and you can search for things, you can look at your hard drive, you can look at different views, you can find, you can preview, you can split, and you can control, and you see it is Dolphin 16.12.2, and we say, oh yeah, can we do the top to make full screen, side, top, Like a legend, and of course, so desktop. I looked at it before, explained it before, and everybody knows it. Panel settings, we look before, we look at all these things before. Alternatives, I struggle to see a big difference between the things. Oh, this is cool. There, I just see a difference. And um, alternatives, windows list. Also cool, I just don't see one pop up. Yes, it's pretty cool, or you can switch things. Alternatives, let's switch back to the icons only. And let's close this one up. Let's switch between these two. There's different desktops that you can like a like a dog <laughs> like an awesome dog that flew up to space and flew back again if like documents here open and if the internet there opens like a work and social site if you prefer to do that you can change your starter icon here you can change things here you can edit it you can make it awesome you can change your menu here at the applications you can look at your web, you got your file manager where you look at you, you got your IRC client, you got your word processor, you got your music player, you got your tournament, you got your software center. Let's install something small or does it do a great recording program. Click on it, right click the install, and we say apply. And you see, yes, run it, run it, you can do it. And we type in a password, and it runs the command in the terminal, and we say yes. And there it goes. And we, the cards go crazy, system settings, as you can see, it's normal KDE stuff. You can look at, I mean, just name them all that you can like go and look afterwards if you want to see it. You can go to your hardware, your keyboard settings, you can configure it. Language packages, you can, if you want to change your language, if you change, change your local settings, if you want to change your dumb date, add user accounts, change your kernel, where we before, workspace theme, you can go to look and feel. Test of theme, cursor theme, split screen, you can give you a nice dark theme. Let's give a nice dark theme to this computer system. And it looks awesome. You can look at the fonts. You can manage your fonts. You can make bigger, smaller, you can change the fonts, you can add fonts, you can icons. Icons is quite cool. Let's have a look here also. And emojis. Let's go to the and let's change the color of our icon just because we can. And I love purple, but you can choose any color. And it looks awesome. Oh, but we got an autumn theme, so we should change it. This is even more noises, but it's okay. And widget stuff, application style. Which is the which are a Windows decoration, GNOME application. If it's something that blows your mind, you must go and look at it. Desktop behavior, workspace, desktop effects, screen edit, screen locking, virtual desktops, accessibility activities. I'm going to each one of them by just showing it in when you hear something and say, wow, I must look at that. Then you can go because it's all normal KDE stuff. Windows behavior, task manager, Given scripts, Windows rules, shortcuts, 
all the different types of codes, shortcuts, which you can look at the uh, startup and shutdown. You can even customize that or automate search. Either file search or plasma, plasma search, you can check it out. KDE Wallet User Manager, written language form is Peltec, date and time, but more do you need notifications, applications, what do you use, you can even use your, change your file system. Oh, cool is that, your shortcuts, online accounts, you can add your Google and Twitter account to your computer system. As you see, it's quite a lot. Connections, you can change your internet systems, you can add some of files so you can configure Bluetooth, input devices, you can check your keyboard, mouse, joystick, touchpad if something isn't working correctly, you got it, you can, if you can have a monitor connected to a projector, you can come and configure it here, multimedia, power settings, if you want to change your power settings, if 5 minutes is not enough before it screen locks, you can change it, get the e-connect, you can minutes here, you can add network, Printers like a boffin, removable storage, you can manage it here, system D, you can even change it and configure it, if you know what you're doing, as you can see, authenticity is already installed like a machine, and we didn't even feel it, and then you can look at your apps, you got development apps, let's see what we got by default pre-installed, plus authenticity of course, mathematics, Science, it's really cool, it's really beautiful. Steam is pre-installed, the awesome graphics. I love KDE apps. Internet, yes, of, of course we know, you got your Bitcoin torrent client for the real stuff, the honest stuff. Not illegal movies and stuff. And Firefox. Multimedia. I loved it. I love KDE in life. I use it every day for video editing. Office. If you saw a library office installed, 5.2, this is still version. You can install it. We installed all this with the Look at its sweet icon. System. Let's go to the info. As we see, we are running. KDE plus 5.9.3. What a legend. What the newest version. Stable versions out there. Wow. And utilities. And computer. And history. And that's the awesome KDE. Plasma 5.9.3 on. Manjaro 17.0. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. Enjoy it. And please, please subscribe to this channel of mine. Thank you and goodbye.